On Wednesday, the newly elected members of the 68th Montana Legislature gathered at the state capitol to elect the lawmakers who will lead them into the upcoming legislative session. <laughs> Counties completed their unofficial vote counts earlier this week. Though they're not final until canvassing, the results give us a clearer picture of what the new legislature will look like. In the Senate, Republicans won two seats held by Democrats in Cascade County and another in southwest Montana. That gave them a 34-seat majority, their largest since 1997. In the House, it appears Republicans flipped three seats from Democrats, while Democrats won back two seats from the GOP. That left Republicans with 68 seats, a net increase of one from last session, and their biggest majority in the chamber since 2011. Overall, the GOP has 102 lawmakers, giving them a two-thirds supermajority that would let them propose constitutional amendments on a party-line vote. In the Senate, Republicans selected Senator Jason Ellsworth of Hamilton to serve as president. He told MTN he believes lawmakers can find common ground on issues like housing. He also acknowledged the power of being able to put constitutional amendments before voters, though he said he doesn't know of any specific proposals yet. I think it's uh, working with the caucus, you know, finding out what different thoughts and ideas and what our constituents want. So that's our job, is to make sure that we deliver, you know, what the constituents want for the state. On the House side, Representative Matt Regeer, a Republican from Kalispell, was chosen to serve as Speaker. He says his first priority is balancing the priorities of his members. He believes he can keep the large caucus on the same page. I think you stick to the issues. Uh, everybody's like got a different flavor, I mean, we all do, even though we're in the same caucus. And uh, you just communicate, I think that resolves a lot of the issues moving forward. Democrats selected Senator Pat Flowers of Bozeman and Representative Kim Abbott of Helena as their minority leaders. At a news conference Wednesday, they laid out their priorities for using the state surplus to help working Montanans and to stand up for issues like the right to privacy. They said much is going to depend on the majority Republicans. We have the resources, we have the vision to make Montana a place where everyday folks can live and thrive. Now we just need the political will. That will exist on our side of the aisle, and we hope it exists on the other side as well. We have to show up every day and fight for our constituents, fight for our communities, fight for our shared values. Um, and we need Republicans to join us on that. If we're going to deliver for our communities, we need them to come and help us out. The session will be getting underway on January 2nd. Stay with MTN as we'll have full coverage leading up to and throughout the 2023 session. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.